This is the Kraken, High Priest of Yog Shatath, Eldritch Scourge of the Sea, Dammer of a Thousand Souls, Devourer of All Man, Sultan of Suffering. And this is my latest excursion onto the internet to bring my dark magnificence to the uninitiated masses. I would like to open up as I opened up last week by saying that this room is really goddamned hot. It is really goddamned hot. There is a window. Why the proprietor of this establishment has not put a window unit AC into that window is beyond me. Do you hear me, proprietor of this establishment? Do you hear me, asshole? Not a goddamned air conditioning unit in this room! The next question you probably have is, Kraken, if there is a window in the room, why do you not merely open the window so that the hot air can escape? And there is a very excellent reason for that. The excellent reason for that is that there is literally a blanket of moths covering the window. And if we would open this window, the moths would swarm in. And this would go very poorly for us, for I hate moths. I hate all that live. You see, it's a struggle for me. Because I hate the heat. But I do not want to bring joy to the moths, for I see them blanketing this window, lusting with their multifaceted eyes at the light fixture hanging from the ceiling. And if I were to open the window, the moths would get in, and it would bring joy to their lives. So I have to ask myself, do I hate the heat, or do I hate moths more? The answer is I hate the moths. The reason being that I hate all living things, and the heat does not live. So that is why it is hot in this room all of the goddamn time, 24 hours of the goddamn day, 7 days of the goddamn week. So I have gotten a lot of feedback from the video from last week. And particularly I got a lot of questions about Lucifer. One thing I will say about Lucifer is that he is male, and that is a very significant for me because being able to differentiate between genders is not something that comes natural to me. Because as you may know, I am without gender. And when I was first introduced to the concept of gender, I first asked why. Why does gender exist? The idea behind gender is that two separate entities must be of opposite genders in order to populate and propagate their species. And the only thing I have to say about this, or the first thing that came to mind really, was that this was further proof that God is an asshole who hates all of you. Because I would hate it if I had to find a member of my species that was the opposite gender of me specifically, and that I had to spend all of my every goddamn waking moment with him just to propagate my species. I honestly want to spend as little time around other people as I possibly can. Because I hate people. I hate a lot of things. But... Anyway, after I learned that sexual reproduction existed, I was told that you could tell humans apart easily by their outward appearance. You humans are special. The sexual dimorphism in your race is rather extreme if you look at other members of the animal kingdom. If you look at, say, a dog that has a dick, it's a male. If it does not have a dick, it is a female. But you have to actually inspect the animal in order to determine this. I was told that you could tell the gender of a human simply by looking at him or her, and I didn't believe this at first, because all of you fuckers look the exact same to me. I honestly could not, for the absolute longest time, tell the difference between you. I went on a long, arduous journey of knowledge to attempt to educate myself to differentiate between genders. And it was very, very difficult at first. I spent a lot of time reading books, and I had to talk to a lot of people and spend time people watching, which is one of the absolute worst hobbies in the entire world, I would just like to say. It is far, far worse than bird watching, and I hate birds, but I hate people more. But anyway, I am rambling. I had to people watch and pay close attention. I was told at first that female humans have these large things on their chests called memory glands. So at first I thought, ah, if there are large mammary glands protruding from the chest, then that must mean it's female. But this is not the case, because there exist fat people. 
I did not know fat people existed until I started spending more time around humans. Because if you were to spend time around fish or dolphins or shit, they don't have, they aren't fat clownfish. You're a fucking clownfish. There are not fat or skinny seahorses, for instance. It really threw me for a loop. Originally, whenever I saw anything with big tits, I thought, oh, it must be a girl. Then it turns out there are fat people, so sometimes you'll see a man with large memory glands. And this befuddled me. Long hair. I tried that for a while. That doesn't work, because there's some hippie faggots running around with long hair. So I still fuck that shit up. It just goes to show that... You land mammals are just all fucked. Just fucked straight in the head. You know, most humans only worship the one god, and this makes a lot of sense. Because he is probably the only motherfucker who would ever sponsor your forsaken race. I can't think of any of the other elder gods or old ones who would even think twice about wanting to make you happy or do anything for you. You should be very thankful for that. I sometimes stumble upon information about sexual intercourse on the internet or in a textbook, and every time I throw up in my mouth a little. Sometimes I throw up in my mouth a lot. Sometimes, actually, I just throw up. Oh! And then, when I tried to figure out homosexuals and transvestites and just trying to figure out the gender thing all together, I would see people that didn't fit either. And these confused me. And then I learned that there were this recent phenomenon called old people. You see, old people only exist among humans and only relatively recently. I, I mean, way back when, like at the beginning of your race, there existed old people. You know, like Methuselah and Adam. I believe the last old person was Moses, something like that. But then they went away. I don't know where all the old people went. Um, they must have died because they are old. Anyway, in the animal kingdom, you do not see old people. You do not see old deer or fish, old elephants. That is because in the wild, when you get old, you die. For some reason, I guess due to advances in healthcare and medicine and diet, when human people get old, they do not die immediately. And they manage to live on for quite a, quite a great many number of years. Some of you motherfuckers live to be over a hundred. I... The last person I saw that was that motherfucking old was... from fucking forever ago. And you fuckers have been dying at like the age of 40 or sometimes 50 for such a long time that I thought there would never be old people ever again. I was wrong, because there's old people fucking everywhere. Everywhere you go, you run into goddamn old people. You can't get the fuck away from them. So old people, transvestites, homosexuals, it all confuses the gender issue a great deal for me. You know, I really don't understand why you don't just put all the old people on a boat and send them to an island and... What the fuck? The fuck was that? Moths! Everywhere! Come open the goddamn window! Moths are everywhere! Close the window! Close the window! Yes, it would appear that someone opened the window and all the moths got in. I don't know if you heard about that. Um, do not worry, the perpetrator was trampled and consumed. Um, you may have heard his death wheels in the background, maybe not though. He, uh, he had bad lungs. Something about smoking too much when he was young. Anyway, I do not understand why you do not just put the old people on a boat and ship them to an island. Because, from what I can tell, they don't work. They just consume resources, they cannot reproduce anymore, and they just bring misery and doom to everyone around them. In fact, every time I see an old people in a grocery store or in a parking lot, there just seems to be a palpable aura of misery and suffering surrounding them. And while this brings great joy to my dark heart, I do not understand from a human perspective why you allow these people to perpetuate themselves. So that is perhaps something that you should look into. And something that I would certainly look into if I was in any sort of human government. No. I don't know what human rights are. Why would you even bring that up? Stupid motherfucker. Mm -hmm.
You see, it's stupid goddamn fuckers like you looking at goddamn window. Not old mom said, did you not hear me talking about moths like five fucking minutes ago? And someone goes and opens up the goddamn window letting old moths in. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to take some questions now. Our first question comes from a Dr. McGillicuddy. And Dr. McGillicuddy asks, Dear Kraken, what is your favorite method of damnation? Well, Dr. McGillicuddy, this is a very erudite question to ask me. My personal favorite method of damnation is to just walk up to a motherfucker and pound him into a greasy pulp. I ground him into a greasy pulp and then I turn it into a sort of milkshake, drink it through a glass, and then I and then I damn it so bad. That is my favorite method of damnation, probably. The next question comes from a Dustin Tant. And Dustin Tant asks, Dear Kraken, What do you think of Cthulhu? <clears throat> this is a subject that I'm very passionate about because Cthulhu and I, we were in the same grade in high school and we have never gotten along and I HATE HIM! I hate him a, a very large and great deal. We've always competed for attention between the two of us. Um, I've been spoken of in North Smith. But he has had fucking books, novellas, and book series, and short stories written about him because he cheated. Motherfucking cheated! And he parted around us to this motherfucker named H.P. Lovecraft, which is one of the most goddamn stupid names I've ever heard of before in my life. And he wrote about himself, and he wrote about other dark gods, and of course, because people are white moths drawn to light, and they adore power and love to worship it, they fell in love immediately with his Cthulhu mythos. Listen to that motherfucker making the whole thing revolve around him. And he wrote his Cthulhu mythos and all the motherfucking books that go with it and he turned it into this big goddamn series and even when, even when H.P. Lovecraft died, he assumed a new guy is writing new short stories on and on ad infinitum. And this shit has spread like goddamn wildfire. Everyone has heard of Cthulhu. Everyone has heard of the Kraken also, but everyone has heard of Cthulhu. And I hate it. You know why? Because I showed up and scared some fucking Vikings one time. The next thing I know, I'm in North Smith. I was ahead in this race for fucking what? I don't remember. Centuries or millennia, a very long time, and here this motherfucker crops up in the goddamn 20th century, writes a few fucking books, and the next thing I know, he is the next best goddamn thing since ever. Well, you know what, Cthulhu? Fuck you. Let's see here, this is the last letter, and it is written by a concerned spiritualist. And the concerned spiritualist writes, Dear Kraken, why do you have such an antagonistic relationship with God? Well, concerned spiritualist, the reason that I have such an antagonistic relationship with God is that he was a goddamn asshole. Do you even listen to what I say? Did you not listen to anything I said last week? This man is a goddamn ass. An enormous goddamn ass. And I've even given proof like ten minutes ago that he was an ass. He created gender. He has made it to where you have to spend time with people you do not like in order to propagate your species. That is one of the biggest dick moves I have ever heard of in my entire goddamn life. He wins points for being creative. I think that if I were sponsoring the race or creating it for my own amusement, I do not think that I would be creative enough to play a prank on him like that. And the fucking laugh riot is that he makes you fuckers enjoy it. You enjoy spending time with people you hate. You have fooled yourselves into thinking that you need to spend time with motherfuckers that you do not even like because it brings you some deep emotional and psychological satisfaction and you have to be able to propagate your species and it's just fucking stupid. So that 
concerned spiritualist, is why I have such an antagonistic relationship with God. Well, anyway, crackheads, that is all for this week. I will see you next week. And until then, may you all be devoured by the thousand spawn of Shubhanigroth. <laughs>